Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants. This is your boy, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat, and Rudy's Rants, as you know, is powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat, and I'm here to rant again. I had to. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. Before we jump on, get us to 2,600 subscribers tomorrow. Please make it happen. We're about 30 subscribers short. Yes, 2,600. That'd be freaking awesome. Love to be at 3,000 by the end of this month. Help us get there, man. We appreciate you. WNBA basketball is back. It started up tonight with the Phoenix Mercury traveling to Chicago to face Angel Reese and the Kennedy Carter Less Chicago Sky. When I learned today that Kennedy Carter was not playing, I knew Chicago was going to get blown out. And they did. 85-65. I told you guys Kennedy Carter was their best player. Keep telling you, Kennedy Carter is Chicago's best player. It's not complicated. It's easy to see. She's their best player. That said... We got a dose of Angel Reese tonight, and I know people are going to sit here and say, man, you are petty, and yes, I am motherfucking petty. Why am I petty? Because I got to listen to three fucking weeks of idiots replying to our videos on YouTube who don't like Caitlin Clark, and on Instagram who don't like Caitlin Clark for whatever reason other than they don't like the white girl, and she's not Angel Reese, and she can't do this, and she can't do that. While the guard play for the Olympic team was absolutely fucking atrocious. Tonight we got a glimpse of Ka Copper. Ka Copper is still a crazy person. But that girl can flat out ball. Okay? She is one of the guards that should have been there because she is that good. She can ball. Now, tonight Ka Copper had a little situation. It was in the fourth quarter, I think it was. I think it was in the fourth quarter, late third. They're up 20. 17 or 20, something like that. They were in control of the game the whole way through. They were 20 at halftime, blew them out. The game was never freaking close. Kyle Copper gets fouled going to the basket. And she gets so pissed off that the ball hits the ground and she kicks it at the referee. And it hits the referee. And she gets teed up. I was surprised she didn't get thrown out, <laughs> to be honest. That that was wild. Uh, she needs to really learn to control her temper because her, her temper is going to cost her in a game that really matters. That's close, and it's going to cost them a game. What I'm going to do, this video is about Angel Reese, the, the darling of ESPN, the darling of Jalen Brown and his little menage a trois going on there with his other girlfriend, Kaisri Gondry. He's like, I don't know. This is not confirmed. I just saw what I saw at Summer League. Those two women holding hands. Angel Reese cheeks out with Jalen Brown, who looked like, I don't know, Superfly, uh, Mr. Pimp. But uh, And then he went on and said that he thought Angel Reese was the rookie of the year, so that pretty much gave it away that he is doing some stuff with them, naturally. I don't care. I'm just here to for. The clicks and the likes. I'm just kidding, folks. I'm here to tell the truth and the truth as I see it because it is the actual truth. It's not my truth. It's the truth. Angel Reese tonight finished with a double-double. Of course, she did 11 points and 15 rebounds. Eight offensive rebounds. We're going back that down. We're going back that way. We're going that direction once again. Eight offensive rebounds out of her 15 rebounds. The stat padding for Angel Reese has begun. I'm sorry. It's continuing. This is a stat pad job. (sighs) Let me show you what she did tonight with her 4 of 14 from the field. Let's take a quick glance. Here we go. Natasha Cloud. What the hell was that? What the, what the hell was that? What the hell? You have a guard on you, and I don't even know what that garbage was. See, y'all don't want to listen. The folks that don't want to listen in the back, she's got no post skills. I keep telling you, there's no post skills whatsoever. Her motor is high. Her energy is high, and that is wonderful. 
can't play on offense. She's got no skills on offense. That was the, the first minute of the game. She's being guarded by a guard, and, can't, and, and that's the shot. You want to see it again? Let's see it again. What, what, what the hell is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep moving it along. This is the game. This is the game. They lost by 20. Some of y'all have this belief that she's their best player. Man, she's not. They missed Marina Mabry, without a doubt. Guard play was freaking brutal as well. They can't shoot. What was their shooting from the, from the, from the three? I don't, let me see again. I watched the game. I don't remember exactly what the three-point shooting was. Uh, let's see here real quick. Um, they were four of 19 from three. Four of 19. That's what they were. Okay. Yeah, that's what they were. Four of 19 from three. They can't shoot. They traded their best shooter. Can't shoot. Let's keep going. What is this? She got the ball. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What in the holy hell? What in the, what? What in the what? What in the what? You for real? Spin move on Brittany Griner. She's left-handed. Did she shoot that with her left or her right? Let's take a look again. Did she shoot that with her left or her right? She shot that with her right. That was like a shot put, bro. <laughs> the rim. Shot put the ball. She's petrified of Brittany Griner. She has no post skills. Keep telling y'all this shit. Y'all don't want to listen. Y'all don't want to listen. This is y'all rookie of the year, right? This is the rookie of the year. Yeah, okay. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, she just got her shot blocked by Diana Taurasi. Let's go back real quick. She got a post. Diana Taurasi. Bop, bop. And then she got an offensive rebound there. See, that's a free offensive rebound. She just got a free offensive rebound because Diana Taurasi blocked her shot going up. Why is she bringing the ball down so low on a six-foot guard? She's six-three, let alone a six-foot guard who's forty-two. This is your skills right here. Keep telling me. Keep telling me. Let's go. Let's keep this next one. Oh, get that basura out of here. She has had three shots blocked in the first, in the first, like in the first quarter. <laughs> This is our rookie of the year. Let's keep going. This 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 circus show of of of, of ineptitude on offense. I'm gonna be called a hater. I already know it. I know the Angel Reese people are coming to come for me. Bring it, bring it. This is y'all rookie. Four for fourteen. She missed ten layups. She missed ten shots inside of literally freaking six feet of the basket. Oh, oh, let, let, me, let me bring this one back here. This was a steal. She stole this ball, actually. She stole it, and then this is what we got for a fast break layup from her. She got so distracted by a 6, a 5, 10 guard. She air mails a, le a left-handed layup, no less. You want to see it again? I might as well. I'll give it to you again. Oh, what in the hell? Oh, my God. She's a half an inch off the ground. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That ball did not touch the rim. That didn't touch the rim. Oh, my word. That did not touch the rim. A layup over no one touched the, didn't touch the rim. Let's look for the next thing here. Oh, my gosh. Let's see it again. Okay. Oh, there's another fast break layup. Oh, 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 oh. You want to see it again? Let's go. Fast break layup. Oh, 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 oh. On this one, she got her own rebound, actually, though. Okay. She gets her own rebound here. Watch. She gets her own rebound because the ball bits bounce back to her. She gets a layup. But she gets her own rebound and her layup. But...
I'm just laughing inside because this is the rookie of the year in y'all opinion, in some of y'all opinion. This is the rookie of the year in some of y'all opinion. This is the skill level of look, and I'm standing stand by what I said. She should have been on the US Olympic. She should have been on the Olympic team. She absolutely should have. She should have been on the Olympic team. And I'm clowning right now. I'm really clowning right now because I've known this all season. I've been saying this all season, and people don't want to listen to the reality. I just saw an eight-minute video the other day on her missing layups this season. An eight-minute video on brick layers. It's brick layer, brick, brick center. Brick center on it's a Twitter handle, X handle on, on Twitter on X, Brick Center. Go check it out. You'll find it. Let's go back and let's see what's next. Oh, I missed that. That was too quick. That was too quick. Uh, my bad. Right here. Let's go back. This is a block shot. Oh, Brittany Grant. Boop. Get out. Oh, God. Oh, God. This sh like. Look, Brittany Grant is tall. I get it. I get it. But there's something called skill. There's something called controlling yourself. And understanding the situation and knowing that you're not getting that shot over Brittany Griner. But Angel Reese has to shoot because Angel Reese is chasing another double double because J Angel Reese only cares about chasing her stats. That ball should have been taken right back out, or she should have stopped when she got the ball. I, I, I got the clip a little bit late. She should have stopped taking an eight foot jump shot. But again, she can't shoot, so therefore she goes all the way to the basket. Like like a, a chicken with her head cut off and gets her shot swatted. Okay. Now I'm going to show you this last one. This last one specifically is her sitting on the sideline. They're down 76 to 56 with five minutes to go. She was on the bench. This is why I call it stat padding. This is stat. This is stat padding 101. If the Los Angeles Lakers are down 20 points and Anthony Davis and LeBron James are sitting on the bench down 20 with five minutes to go, I promise to God, I don't care who their coach is, those guys are not going back in the game. Game's over. Game's over. They're not going to put them back in the game. I don't care who the coach is. They're not. If the Heat's down 20 with five minutes to go, Jimmy Butler's on the bench, Jimmy Butler's not going back in the game. Why? Because there's no point. The odds of blowing a 20-point game in five minutes when you look like complete, absolute garbage and your team can't make a jump shot, it's it's slim to none. It's it's like 99% that you're going to lose and probably lose by double digits. So there's no point in risking your higher level players, your stars, your 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 feature attractions to throw them back in there just because you want to grab them a double double. Cuz at that point she had 9 points, and I think 13 to 12 over 13 rebounds. Why does she need to play? Game's over. This is another example of game is over. We got to pat Angel Reese. So let's take a look real fast. So she's on the bench, waiting to come back in. She looks sour. That's her bucket on a re on a putback rebound, offensive board. That guy that gave her 11 points, and at the point I think it was 13 rebounds. She finished 11 of 15, four of 14 from the from the field, three of eight from the free throw line. And let's also consider this: after that happened, the commentator said, "Oh my God, Angel Reese, another double double. The score was 76 to 58. Why are you talking about that?" Why would anybody care about a fucking double-double when you're down 18 points with five minutes to go? And then say, oh, that's her 18th of the year. And then they make her the player of the game. I think this is probably a Chicago broadcast, which is why she was named player of the game. But where I'm from, I live in Miami. When the Heat play someone on the road and the Heat lose, and the, the other team has a big-time player, you know what doesn't happen? They don't give the player of the game to, to anyone on the Miami Heat. They give it to one of the people on the road team. And in fact, they'll interview a player from the road team after the game. Not a Heat player after a loss. And this is in a home broadcast. So I don't know what's going on in Chicagoland, but you don't have to give the damn player of the game to Angel Reese because she had 11-15. 11 11-15 on 4-14 and 3-8. of eight. That's, a tragedy. That's a tragically bad game. Minus 14 with her on the floor. Very bad game. Not while Kyle Copper had 29 on 12 of 19 shooting, 3 of 5 from 3. Like, you're not going to sit here. and that, That's your player of the game. But I just thought that would be fun to showcase the wonderful shot not making ability of Angel Reese and the rookie of the year in the eyes of, of, of so many people at ESPN. What are your thoughts? Love to hear from my people, my beautiful, beautiful subscribers, my beautiful people.
leave me a comment. Jump on this one because I want you to hit this one hard. Like, click, subscribe, share, follow, all that good stuff. Let's get it done. Come on now.